Today we'll visit the city of Bath. We'll see the beautiful Bath Abbey, Roman baths, incredible views of the River Avon with its famous weir. The castle that doesn't quite exist. I'm walking by this beautiful, beautiful wall to give you a sense of scale. And also visit the amazing place which sells tea and a very, very special coffee shop as well. In this video you'll learn about the history of the ancient city, see the beauty spots much loved by cityscape lovers and immerse in the atmosphere of this unique place. Behind me is the glorious city of Bath. Up from the time immemorial, there were hot springs right in the city centre. And now around them, the Roman baths have been built. Locals had a small shrine and when Romans came, they built a massive temple, Aqua Sulis, around the holy springs. Our first destination is the Roman Baths. It's the large Roman complex which had multiple rooms, main pool and served as a community space where people came to socialize. Those were constructed in 60 to 70 AD. The presence of these baths made a small Roman settlement around them which was called Aqua Sulis. The baths were used up until the 5th century, which was the tail end of the rule of Romans in Britain. The magnificent complex became a ruin very quickly after the Romans left. Right next to the Roman baths stands Bath Abbey, which was a Benedictine monastery. The Benedictine community was dissolved as a part of the Dissolution of Monasteries program, but before the monastery there was a pagan temple there too. The abbey was founded in 7th century and the major rebuild happened in 12th and 16th centuries.
The magnificent abbey could be seen from many places, the River Avon, from Alexandra Gardens, a very special quiet place where not many people go to, certainly not many tourists visit it. It is there that you can embrace the view of the entire city and marvel the abbey, which stands tall in the center. City of Bath gained its massive popularity in Georgian era, when a lot of people considered the healing powers of the local springs. They believed that they had medicinal qualities and they were traveling to visit the springs, hence the Bath Spa. Right next to the abbey, there is a very special bridge, Poltney Bridge. This stretch of river once had a very busy ferry before the bridge was built. It took about 20 years to build this magnificent bridge and the original design didn't have shops in mind. Those alterations were added, which widened the bridge to 18 meters. to build this bridge was from Ponte Vehico and Ponte di Rialto in Florence and Venice. This Palladian-style marvel of architecture looks incredibly beautiful with a curved weir right next to it. Right there you see Poltney Bridge, an intrinsic part of the city of Bath. What once used to be a very busy ferry route is now a bridge. Behind me you see probably the newest addition to this river. This weir was constructed in 1960s to calm the river down and to make sure that the flooding is no longer an issue. But now it became such a beautiful thing, such, a, such an attraction that it just simply looks stunning.
Those are the parade gardens, located right next to the beautiful Paltny Bridge, were laid out in 1703. The gardens were built to facilitate spa visitors. Now they're a wonderful place to have a relaxing walk and enjoy the views. This is Central Bath, the place is busy with tourists, shoppers and visitors from all over the world. to shop, eat and drink too. You will definitely be spoiled for choice here. There are fine restaurants and cafes and we have decided to pop into one of those to try a really tasty cappuccino. And it was delicious!
back to the beautiful architecture, this is the circus, the beautiful round terrace of houses, which is very unique. Designed by the architect John Wood the Elder, it was built in 1754. Right next to this gem of architectural beauty, there is a royal crescent. The crescent-shaped terrace made of 30 houses and it overlooks the beautiful lawn. It was designed by architect John Wood the Younger. Seeing this beautiful building makes you feel like you are being embraced by it. And sometimes it is really nice to wander around the streets and see how many more quirky details of architecture are there to be discovered.
One other interesting thing that catches those visitors who enjoy all things quirky – the Sham Castle. It is located on the top of the hill overlooking the beautiful city of Bath. This castle is rather special. It was built to give an illusion that there is something going on out there – a neighbor, a castle on the hill. But it is a sham, a folly, built just to be seen from the city. It was designed around 1755. And when you come up close to it, it's nothing but a wall. But I should say a very special wall. There are other similar sham castles in the UK too. All are built as fun projects and entertainment, if you will. The mud is sloshing underneath my feet and I'm walking towards the camera very slowly because I seriously don't want to slip. We are outside the Sham Castle. I'm walking by this beautiful, beautiful wall to give you a sense of scale. It's not that large, it's not that huge. And the reason why this Sham Castle was erected in 18th century was rather bizarre for now, for today's, uh, for today's sort of mentality, but it was built to embellish the view from the city. All this beauty was created uh, to create an illusion that there is a castle up on that hill. But if you follow me now, you will see, you will see that this castle is nothing but the wall. Just one single wall and you can't really... There is no castle. It's Sham. And this is what the Sham castle looks like from behind, from the other side. As you can see, it's built very well. 18th century knows a lot of ornamental architecture and in my opinion, this is one of its finest examples. Personally, I find it very hard to believe that this is only, what, two, three meters wide? And that's it. And yet it creates such an atmosphere. It becomes such a piece of art. This is the actual width of the entire art monument. How cool is this? Look at that. And this is what the city of Bath looks like when you stand right next to the castle. So dare I say, this is probably one of the most spectacular urban views on the planet. And sometimes when you're in Bath you can see the magnificent scene of air balloons flying above the city. Those balloons are launched in Bristol, which is not too far away from Bath, but they can certainly be seen in Bath and can certainly be admired in this fantastic city. Thank you for watching this piece, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoy reading, you can visit my website www.mikebogatrevculturetravel.com And until next time, see you later, bye bye.